Welcome to the first weekly episode on automotive news from Motan India where we shall be covering automotive news pertaining to the industry commercial vehicles two wheelers and cars Let us begin with industry news Maruti Suzuki XL6 multi-purpose vehicle or MPV is celebrating its first anniversary with over 25000 customers The XL6 is a six seater from Nexa has been appreciated by customers for its sporty looks and its second row captain seats Since its launch the XL6 has captured nearly 14% market share in the country's premium MPV segment the company claims. So Shang Shivastav executive director marketing and sales Maruti Suzuki India Limited said driving the Nexa values of global experience innovation and excitement the first anniversary of XL6 showcases our commitments to bring technologies such as smart hybrid automatic transmission connected smart play infotainment system etc to our customers Epsilon Carbon India's leading coal tar derivatives company is diversifying into battery materials business to develop and manufacture high performance and quality carbon products for anode components of lithium ion batteries or LIB The battery materials business will be housed under a new subsidiary Epsilon Advanced Materials MG Motor India has launched its certified pre-owned car vertical the company calls it pre-loved MG Reassure in India MG Reassure aims to provide quick and the best residual value for MG cars to MG customers across its dealerships the pre-owned vehicles will be assessed through 160 plus quality checks to ensure the leading inspection standards and conduct all necessary repairs before their resale as part of its continued effort to leverage technology MG will undertake a methodical evaluation for the pricing of the used vehicles MG owners can also sell the MG cars without any obligation to exchange them for a new MG vehicle Tata Motors has delivered Tigor electric vehicles to the Ministry of Ayurveda Yoga and Naturopathy Unani Siddha and Homeopathy Ayush in Delhi as part of its tender with EESL the first batch of Tigor EVs was handed over to PN Ranjit Kumar joint secretary admin ministry of Ayush by Rajkumar Luthra general manager at EESL Bog Warner's exhaust gas recirculation or EGR module which includes cooler and valve will be the company's first gasoline EGR module to be used on mild hybrid engine technology for Fiat Chrysler Automobiles FCA in the EMEA that is Europe Middle East Africa region Bogwana is a global product leader in clean and efficient technology solutions for combustion hybrid and electric vehicles Bogwana now supplies its EGR technology to the latest Firefly gasoline engine which was developed for the Fiat 500 and Panda hybrid models Its compact package reduces weight and therefore lowers the emission of Fiat's naturally aspirated 1 liter 3 cylinder engine. Now let us move on to commercial vehicle news. India-based Mahindra and Mahindra and Israel-based REE Automotive have signed a memorandum of understanding to explore development and manufacturing of electric commercial vehicles for global markets. REE Automotive is an electric platform leader and has developed the next generation EV platform which is completely flat scalable and modular providing customers full design freedom to create the broadest range of EV and autonomous vehicles for current and future applications Tata Motors has announced its future ready product portfolio developed with a aim to redefine transportation the entire range of vehicles sub 1 ton to 55 ton gross vehicle combination weight GVW GCW is powered by efficient drive trains features a futuristic premium tough design language and is engineered to cater to a wide variety of dynamic market conditions moving on to two wheeler news TVS Motor Company has introduced TVS Jupiter Xerox disc variant with an upgraded electric start technology iTouch start the TVS patent for this new 
iTouch Start is pending. The technology provides a silent and instant start minus the cranking noise, making it ideal for repeated starts in stop-go traffic. The iTouch Start also improves battery life and provides a maintenance-free system. TVS Jupiter ZX disc with iTouch Start is priced at rupees sixty-nine thousand fifty-two. Finally, Ducati India has brought in its first BS6 compliant motorcycle model for 2020, the all-new Panigale V2. The all-new Panigale V2 in India was launched at Rs 16.99 lakh ex showroom India. The Panigale V2 is equipped with a 955cc twin-cylinder super quadro engine which is now BS6 compliant, delivers more power plus 5 horsepower and more torque plus 2 newton meters thanks to new injectors which are larger in size with a different working angle and a more efficient snorkel which minimizes pressure loss. The V2 also features a new compact exhaust rooted entirely underneath the engine giving a clean look to the beautiful lines of the youngest member of the Panigale Superbike family. The story at BMW Motorrad is about to change big time from that of a shaft drive to one of M Endurance chain. For more than 90 years, the maintenance-free, environmentally friendly and comfortable shaft drive has been one of BMW Motorrad's immovable technical cornerstones. With the M Endurance chain, BMW Motorrad now offers a maintenance-free chain with comparable characteristics for the first time. The M Endurance chain is now available initially for the two four-cylinder models BMW S1000RR and S1000XR. The M Endurance chain is available as accessory or directly from the factory as an option. Further BMW Motorrad models are being prepared for this feature. Honda Motorcycle and Scooter India Private Limited has launched the new Hornet 2. 0 motorcycle powered by a new Bharat Stage 6 compliant higher capacity and advanced 184cc PGM FI HET that is Honda Eco Technology engine. The new Hornet 2.0 will be available in four colors. The Hornet 2.0 is priced at rupees 126,345 ex showroom Gurugram Haryana. And finally, coming to car news, Pune-based Force Motors has roped in DY Works to design the brand and experience for the iconic off-roader Force Gurkha. The new gen Force Gurkha, which has been completely revamped and has a BS6 engine, was showcased at the Auto Expo 2020. The new Force Gurkha is likely to be launched at the end of the year. Honda Cars India has launched its premium hatchback new Honda Jazz with refreshed looks, premium styling, a new flagship grey Jazz ZX along with segment leading features. The prices of the new Jazz starts at 7.50 lakh rupees and goes up all the way to 9.74 lakh rupees ex showroom Delhi. In terms of exterior design, the 2020 new Honda Jazz comes with new chrome accentuated high gloss black grille, advanced LED package of new LED headlamps, inline shell with DRL, new LED fog lamps, signature rear LED wing light and newly designed front and rear bumpers. The most striking feature of the new Jazz is the newly introduced segment exclusive one-touch electric sunroof which will set a new trend among premium hatchbacks. German luxury car manufacturer Audi announced the launch of the all-new Audi RS Q8 in India at Rs 2.07 crore upward. The Audi RS Q8 combines the power of an RS model with the elegance of a premium coupe and the ability of an SUV. Its massive twin-turbo V8 with 600 HP and 800 Nm of torque propels the car to 100 km per hour from standstill in under 4 seconds. 
Mahindra and Mahindra Limited has introduced the Maratso multi-purpose vehicle with BS6 technology at a starting price of rupees 11.25 lakh. The Maratso will now be available in three variants namely M2, M4 Plus and M6 Plus. The Maratso is powered by a 1497cc diesel engine with a power output of 120 HP at 3500 rpm and a peak torque of 300 Newton meters at around 1750 to 2500 rpm the engine is mated to a 6 speed manual transmission Toyota Kirloskar Motor TKM has revealed the interior look of its soon to be launched compact SUV the all new Toyota Urban Cruiser the Urban Cruiser boasts of a plush and alluring dual tone dark brown interior along with a wide and spacious cabin other top features on the inside include engine push start stop button and automatic AC both of which will be standard across all variants for the ease and convenience of passengers while the electrochromic rear view mirror will add to the seamless and safe driving experience the cruise control will gratify enthusiasts who seek an exhilarating ride those seeking complete entertainment and connected experience can look forward to smart play cars touch screen audio with Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and smartphone based navigation. And to round up news from abroad, the new Volkswagen ID3 has set its first range record. The electric car covered 531 kilometers from Zwickau, a town in Germany, to Schaffhausen in Switzerland on a single charge. Officially, the model has a range of up to 420 kilometers WLTP. This mark was topped by more than 100 kilometers and increase of 26 percent. The vehicle was a series production ID3 first pro performance with a 58 kilowatt hour battery built at Zwickau Electric Car Factory. That's all the news for this week. Do tell us whether you like the weekly news roundup from Motown India. Do not forget to give us a thumbs up to the video and do subscribe to our channel if you have not till now we hope to come back with more weekly news as we go along till the next time stay safe and stay healthy